Hi, I'm Anusha. I make beauty related content. If that is something that interests you, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And please also click the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Today we are going to be talking about the best and worst products of Juicy Chemistry. Actually, worst is a little strong word to use, but these are not actually the worst products. But these are the products that did not work out for me. There are a lot of products from Juicy Chemistry that I want to talk about. Before moving on to the actual review, I just wanted to give a little bit of uh, brand summary. Uh, if you want to just skip this part and directly move to the reviews, I'll leave a timestamp uh, below this video. But coming to Juicy Chemistry, it is an Indian brand. It is formed by Pritesh and Megha. They work with natural and organic ingredients. They don't use any preservatives or uh, any artificial chemicals in their formulations. They only use plant derived or natural uh, ingredients. That's the whole brand ideology. But the part I like about this brand is I don't like them just for saying they are natural and organic. I don't have any problem with artificial uh, made ingredients. But what I actually like about them is when they say natural and organic, they will stick to it. Nowadays, we see so many brands like they will slap on the word natural on the packaging, but if we see in the ingredients list, we barely see any natural product there. They are just aqua and some fillers and some preservatives and we will uh, find that natural ingredient. Actually, the ingredient that they are marketing the whole product is about, we will find that ingredient in very, very less concentrations. Uh, some products are like, I find it funny that some products have fragrance and preservatives in more quantities than the actual the natural ingredient that they are marketing the product is all about. I don't uh, like those kind of brands but when it, when it comes to juicy chemistry, when they say something on the packaging, I can see the actual reflection of those ingredients in the ingredient list. and. Uh, they are cruelty free and uh, they are handmade, they are GMO, GMO free and they are freshly made. Actually what they will do, they will uh, manufacture the products in small batches with freshly sourced ingredients. So the potency of the ingredient remains in the actual product that you are getting. And they don't use preservatives. I, I think preservatives is a good thing and uh, we should not take pride in saying that the product is preservative free. I don't find the point there but they chose to be preservative free and their products are, are free of sulfates and they don't use any synthetic fragrances or oils and they don't add any colors to their uh, formulations. And one more thing I want to mention is they are Cosmos Organic means they are certified organic. There is some agency that is actually certifying these products as organic products. So they are, we are not just buying the products because they are saying it organic but they are actually actually certified by an international agency that achha, these products are organic. I hope you got an overall idea about the brand and what the brand stands for. There are, there are so many products that I want to share in this video. Some of them worked, some of them didn't work. But I want to start the video on a positive note. So I am starting with something that I really love from the brand. That is their 100% organic Bulgarian rose water. I like this product very much. It retails for 650 for 110 ml of product, which is like expensive. Uh, we have to pay a little extra money to get uh, good quality rose water. Why it, why is it so? I have already made a video on that. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box. If you want, you can check that out. Uh, coming to the actual product, this is very good quality rose water. It has mild subtle fragrance of roses and it will instantly cool and hydrates your skin. If you like uh, face mist, Definitely go and check this product. Next on the list we have Chili Hostel and Black Seed 100% Natural Hair Oil. I got this hair oil because um, it has black seed oil in it. Black seed oil is very good for hair uh, growth and it also claims that it promotes hair growth and controls hair fall. That is So that is the main issue why I got this product. It retails for 1050 for 30 ml of product which is like crazily expensive uh, for a hair oil. Uh, but uh, I got this product just to see whether it will help with hair fall issues. I, I got hair fall issues uh, uh, post my delivery. Uh, so post uh, pregnancy hair fall is a real thing. Uh, so I got this product in expectation that it will help with that particular hair fall. See hair fall is a vast uh, topic. Uh, it depends on so many factors. Uh, we cannot just rely on a hair oil to regrow your hair. 
but uh, because this hair oil claims that it will promote hair growth uh, i have an expectation for this so coming to my experience when i apply this hair oil it will give that nice warm feeling on the scalp which feels very relaxing on the nerves it will make the hair feel very soft and nourished in that department it get full marks but when coming to hair fall i have been using this product from the past 3 to 4 months but I did not notice that considerable reduction in the hair fall. Will I repurchase this? Maybe I'll repurchase this because it gives that nice warmth and uh, uh, relaxing feeling to my nerves. I may repurchase this for that purpose, not for the hair fall uh, rescue type of product or something like that. Next we have Neroli Rose Hip and Tamanu Organic Body Butter for stretch marks in pigmented skin. um i got this mainly because i have stretch marks again post pregnancy uh, and uh, pigmentation this retails for 850 for 75 grams of product it is 75 grams not 75 ml uh, the price looks like expensive but actually when you use the product you realize that you need a very little amount to spread on your skin so it will last you for really long time i have used this body butter in the entire winter season but still a little bit is left in the bottle so it uh, the spreadability is very good in that point of view it is not that expensive when compared to the performance and the longevity of the product when you apply it on the stretch marks it will give that firmness to the stretch marks making them look less soggy and with eventually with time it will help with the reduction of uh, stretch marks it will not take them away completely but it will definitely help it will make the skin firm and uh, it will uh, give you a nice glow to the skin as well i have given a break to this in summer time but for winters i'll definitely repurchase this because it is a heavy duty body butter but it will not leave the skin feeling um, that chip chipa or sticky something like that it will get absorbed into the skin like within 5 to 10 minutes and it will look uh, make your lips skin uh, plump moisturized healthy and glowing and all that good stuff so I like this body butter very much. It will uh, be a definite repurchase uh, for me from this brand. Next on the list, we have 100% pure and organic rosehip seed oil uh, from uh, Juicy Chemistry. Uh, it retails for 800 for 30 ml of product. You need like one or two drops for the entire facial skin. Mostly I use it in my body care. I'll mix one or two drops with my body lotions and I'll apply it. It will impart a very good healthy glow to the skin. But I don't use it much as my facial care product because what I observed is when my skin is already irritated if i apply this oil in that type of situations it will irritate my skin further more otherwise when my skin is not that irritated i'll apply it as a face mask and then i'll wash it off after like 15 to 20 minutes and it will give nice good glow to the skin you can like see the visible difference that it makes to your skin but if your skin is already irritated and you if you have already active acne then don't use this on the face yeah it is a very good quality rosehip seed oil if you are planning to buy one definitely check out the juicy chemistry rosehip seed oil then we have two lip balms from juicy chemistry one is blood orange and rosehip and the other one is damask rose and fig you see rosehip is constant in my purchases like rosehip oil rosehip body butter rosehip lip butter i have some strange addiction for this rosehip yeah coming to the ex my experience with this these are really moisturizing and hydrating it will keep your lips moisturized for a good amount of time like 4 to 5 hours this uh, blood orange one is much hyped one don't uh, keep your expectations bar so high it is basically a good moisturizing lip balm and nothing more than that it will help with pigmented lips if your pigmentation is due to external factors uh, the rose one is uh, a little bit more moisturizing than the orange one but the orange one has a subtle fragrance when compared to the rose one so if you don't like strong strong fragrances definitely go for the orange one if you are okay with uh, fragrance then you can go for the rose one both are very good quality products then we have sacha inchi argan and mango hair butter 
दिस इज देयर प्री शैम्पू हेयर मास्क फॉर ड्राई एंड फ्रिजी हेयर इस इट कम्स इन सेवेंटी फाइव ग्राम्स ग्लास बॉटिल इट रिटेल फॉर नाइन हंड्रेड फॉर सेवेंटी फाइव ग्राम्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट दिस इज एक्चुअली गुड वन बट दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट आई गो फॉर बिकॉज आई फाइंड दट क्रीम बेस्ड हेयर मास्क मोर नरिशिंग एंड मॉइस्चराइजिंग वेन कंपेर्ड टू ऑयल बेस्ड एंड बटर बेस्ड हेयर मास्क फॉर मई हेयर सो इट इज नॉट ए बैड प्रोडक्ट बट I will not repurchase this. Next on the list we have 100% organic kakadu plum and pomegranate uh, anti-aging vitamin C rich facial oil. I got this because it says vitamin rich facial oil. Uh, it retails for 875 for 10 ml of product like crazily expensive. But I got this because uh, thinking that it will work. as vitamin c serum uh, my skin don't like this uh, facial oil no matter how much little quantity i take it will not get absorbed into my skin it will just sit as a top layer on my skin if you are from dry skin family type you may like it but for uh, combination or oily i don't think uh, we if people gonna enjoy this product i will not repurchase this product next we have 100% organic prickly pear chia and tamanu under eye roll on for dark circles and fine lines it retails for 600 for 7 grams of product it comes with a roll on this product will last for really long period of time i have used this product for around 2 months but i did not see any difference in my under eye area so i discontinued using it i started using niacin white serum and it gave me much better results than this i roll on so i will not repurchase this i got this product because it ha- it says chia and i like chia so i got this product but it did not work out for me then we have tamanu kakadu plum and, and frankincense face wash it retails for 750 for 100 ml of product which is like expensive for a face wash it did not do anything uh, like it did not cleanse my skin properly also uh, after cleansing my skin with this i felt like some oil film is sitting on my skin doing nothing like it is not moisturizing also it will just feel like some kind of oil is sitting on our skin so i do not like this product at all and i'll i will not be repurchasing this and it has high ph of around 8 to 9 so i do not like this product at all i will not repurchase this and i will not recommend it to anybody then we have saffron rose and australian sandalwood certified organic face scrub actually when i first got this product it has the vibrant pink color of rose petal powder and it has the saffron strand upon opening it it felt very exotic and very good and the fragrance is like if rose and sandalwood and saffron the three ingredients come together and making a party it the product exactly felt like that but if we mix this product uh, with water it felt very abrasive on my skin Uh, because it has salt and sugar it felt very abrasive on my facial skin so what i did i mixed it with curd uh, then it felt very mild and the scrubbing action is almost gone so it worked as a mask but not as a scrub when i used it as uh, with curd as a mask it definitely helped my skin it uh, did brighten my skin up and it cleansed my skin very well and uh, uh to some extent it helped with white head white heads also uh but eventually what happened when i kept on using this with around like within one month or two months the color of this product has changed they mentioned this on their website or instagram page i don't remember exactly but they have mentioned that the color and texture of the products may change because they are all natural ingredients but the potency remains uh I may agree with them that the potency of the product remains but feel like uh, the freshness is gone uh, so I I lost my interest in using this product it formed into lumps I don't like that feeling uh, so I will not repurchase this product this retails for 700 for 75 grams of product oof with that we have come to an end of this video I think I have reviewed around 10 to 12 products I need to mention one point here almost uh, the shelf life of almost all the products of juicy chemistry is maximum 6 months so you have to finish the products within 6 months so be mindful when you are shopping from juicy chemistry only buy the product that you know you are definitely gonna use it immediately otherwise they will get expired and you cannot use them ha huh. if you are uh, planning to shop from juicy chemistry in my opinion uh, the body butters the butters like the body butters or hair butters or facial oils 
or lip butters anything to do with oils and butters department juicy chemistry is on the top of its game so if you are planning to buy some oils or butters definitely check out juicy chemistry products when coming to the facial care like um, face washes or uh, scrubs and masks i do not like uh, much uh, so i will skip those products and their rose water is also very good uh, so this is all the quick best and worst products of juicy chemistry if you like this video please give this a like and comment is your most favorite product from juicy chemistry and uh, do let me know if you like these kind of videos where i talk about multiple products with mini reviews or you like full pledged review of a particular product and i am coming up with best moisturizers for oily and acne prone skin especially for summer that video will be up next week so please stay tuned for that we'll meet you with that video till then take care bye bye